All right, for all you Pokemaniacs out there, the market is moving so fast. It seems like every single day, things are just getting crazier. And today we're going to go over some market stuff. Uh, Scarlet and Violet, some Sword and Shield, starting with Surging Sparks. Uh, we got singles and sealed product that we're going to talk about. Something very interesting has happened with, with Surging Sparks. The official release date is at the end of the week on Friday, and this is Monday as of this recording. And we're already seeing 159, we'll just call it 160. Uh, two cents off. We'll call these 160 sales on TCG player. Now, the reason I bring that up, the reason it's interesting, the reason our things are getting crazy, the set has not officially released yet. And this is the MSRP, right? 160, 164. So I just wanted to put this out there. Uh, also, keep in mind that most likely, and not a certain thing, but most likely the Pokemon Center for Surging Sparks should come back in stock on Friday. Uh, this is what happened with Stellar Crown. Uh, all the products are currently unavailable, but they should come in. So, but why this is interesting, by Friday at official release, the Pokemon Center could be a better deal than TCG player at release, right? We're just a dollar and some off from MSRP. Pokemon Center is free shipping, purchase limit of six. You can purchase a case from them. Uh, they usually ship it. They don't double box it. They just put the case and they ship it out. Uh, not the best shipping from Pokemon Center, unfortunately. You would think that that would change. Uh, anyways, uh, enough of that. I got a beef with Pokemon Center, apparently. Let me know in the comments if you guys have a beef with Pokemon Center. If you've got like a few booster boxes one time and they damaged them because they didn't put any packing material in there. Pisses me off. Anyways, uh, back to the market. Okay. Surging sparks. Uh, one thing I wanted to touch on again real quick right here. So you see this date right here. See all these sales. Uh, this is November 1st, November 1st, right? Uh, and this is the most booster boxes sold. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I think I'm right. <laughs> Actually, if I'm really wrong, let me know. Uh, this was the date that prismatic evolutions got released, uh, not released, but announced, right? We got the most sales when prismatic got announced. Uh, and even even if it was the, even if it was the next day, which I think it was the first. Fact check me, guys. But uh, even the next day, it still had the second most sales in the last month. So some people were saying, "Oh, prismatic." Uh, not a lot, but some people were saying, "Oh, forget about surging spark, surging what?" Apparently, the market does not agree with that sentiment uh, because that was announced early in the morning and not everybody gets the news right away. I understand that, but uh, the most sales are happening on that day. So that's it for the surging sparks for now. I can't wait to get my, my, my cases, my boxes and rip some. Uh, I don't know when they're going to be in. I haven't even gotten a shipping notification, but it is what it is. Okay. Now some sword and shield stuff. And then we're going to double back to some scarlet and violet at the end of the video. So the Giratina, uh, I've been fairly vocal. This is one of my favorite cards uh, from the era. I love this card. Raw, it's up 15%. Uh, I mean, pretty decent, not insane. Uh, the reason that I bring this card up is more of the PSA 10 pricing. Uh, we're going to get to that. But just some, some solid growth, right? Uh, but last sold, though, we're seeing a 400, la a few la 400s last sold, right? We'll call these 395s. We'll just call them 400s, right? One, two, three, four, five, four hundreds last sold. So if this goes up to 400, uh, the previous all time high in the alt art boom was 476. So if we get to that 400 floor, uh, that's a that's a big jump from down here at 320, 326 up to 400. It's a pretty decent gain. Um, but we're talking about PSA 10s in this. If you guys aren't familiar, you can send a card in. They'll say if it's 10, supposedly it's perfect. Uh, PSA will say a PSA 10 just sold for twelve hundred and twenty five dollars one thousand two hundred twenty five okay this was sold from z and g emporium uh they're a they are a consignment service right you can sell through them they posted on instagram that uh, i believe that this was paid for confirmed paid twelve hundred i don't know why people do that when there's like a buy it now you could have picked this up for this price but twelve hundred giratina sale is kind of wild so that it's obviously like the outlier of all these sales, right? We're seeing 870, 970, 810, 1200, but it sets the precedent for this being over a thousand dollar card. This one was pretty close right here. So uh, we'll see where this ends up, but just, I caught this the other day and I just was kind of blown away by the $1,200 sales. So that's why we brought that up. Next up, uh, you know, the good old, the good old moon kitty, uh, still continuing to climb, right? Uh, they're saying TCG has a market price of just 1,086, right? And it's just 29% up in the past three months, just, and it's kind of going vertical right here. Uh, but in the last month, 12% up. But 
one of the reasons I brought this up is just because check the same thing. Check out this last sold. 1300 raw for a raw copy of this card. This card has like, I didn't pull up the pop report on this card. I pulled up pop report on a different card. Uh, it has, it was over, I know it was over 10,000. I think it was over 11,000 tens now. Fact check me if I'm wrong. Um, I know it's over 10,000 for sure. Uh, but yeah, 1200, 1300. And then there's like a thousand sale in there, right? But 1200, if 1300, like that's, I mean, I know, I get it guys, but it's just wild. Things are just, things, the market is like literally primed with dynamite and it's just ready to absolutely explode. And this is this is one of the reasons people are seeing these prices. Now, PSA 10 prices on this card. It's another thing I wanted to point out. I mean, the PSA 10 like jump for the, for the Moonbrown isn't as crazy if you got like a, you know, uh, 1300 raw and you go to 1500, but still 1500, we'll call this one 1600 and then an actual 1600 down here, 16, 1500 for the moon beyond and a PSA 10. So yeah, things, I don't know, man. I feel like things are just starting to heat up with some of these cards. Okay. Then we're going to talk about the bubble Mew, the bubble Mew. It's up a hundred percent on the past three months. It started to cool off just a little, right? This is what we saw with 151, right? The prices go crazy high. People go, oh, I have that. And they start selling it and then people start undercutting each other. Still not a lot of copies on TCG, 64. It went to 170 and it's kind of come down to the 160. So it's barely came down. Uh, last sold's 164, there's 170. 165, 163, 165 for raw copies uh, of the Mew. But this, what I'm about to show you guys for a PSA 10 sale is gonna blow your mind. Uh, I blew my mind. Let me know. Okay. See this? This was just sold this morning. This is a error. No texture error. $2,500 for a PSA 10. And yes, I have the pop report for this card and the regular one. Regular with texture, we're seeing 500, 615, 600, 600. Just call it about a $600 card now. And 2,500 for no texture. That's, oh man. The market is wild. So, pop reports right here. So we have uh, this is the regular Mew, right? The one we were just seeing, the 232. Okay, 9,000 graded, 4,600 in a 10. So about, I mean, call it about half ish, almost half ish, right? Uh, can get a 10. Here's the no texture, missing texture right here, right? Special illustration rare, missing texture error. 13 graded, 10 tens. So there's only 10 of those of this card right here in existence currently that has been graded by PSA. Uh, that's in the gem rates really high. So apparently without the texture that came out clean copies, 25, let me know what you guys think. $2,500 sale for the meal. Would you ever pay that price? I mean, I guess if I was like absolutely loaded and money meant nothing to me, I'd be like, Oh yeah, I'll pick up a new texture error for 2,500. Um, and you got right here, missing texture for the Gardevoir. Um, for some of these. So apparently, I don't know if that was a Paldean Fate specific thing. I don't really see this a lot with other cards, but I'm not really too deep into the missing texture space. If you guys are doing that, uh, I feel like you're pretty hardcore. Um, but yeah, that's the pop report. Uh, very high on the missing texture. But uh, so, I mean, you got a really good chance if you're looking at picking up this copy though, this Mew, uh, if you're looking at picking up a raw copy, obviously off TCG, you don't really get photos. So I wouldn't really recommend that. eBay, a uh, local card, local card store or card show, you can inspect it in person. You got a, you got a decent chance at getting a PSA 10 copy, which would bump up your, th your card from, you know, it was 160 ish to 600. It's a pretty decent gain. So there are some plays to be had on the bubble Mew currently with grading. Um, last card I wanted to talk about is it's one of my favorite cards. It's one of my favorite cards, uh, brilliant stars, the Charizard. I've said that this is the best Charizard artwork we've ever gotten. I stand by that. Uh, art is subjective, so in my mind it is. Um, but I think it's amazing. I absolutely love everything about this card. Uh, and it's finally, and I said it's undervalued, severely undervalued, still severely undervalued, in my opinion. Uh, the PSA 10 prices haven't really gone up yet. Unfortunately, I don't have that pulled up, but I checked. They're about 300, which is kind of what they've been going for forever now. Some It was like 260s, 300-ish, right? Give or take. Uh, but 17% up in the past three months. Uh, there's only 75 copies on TCG player, about almost 15% up in the past month. Uh, yeah, we'll zoom out to the one year. It didn't, it went from 114, 117, it ran up to almost 200. We'll call it 200, 199. 
and then it came back down almost to its original low, which was really weird. That doesn't normally happen. Uh, like all the other charts and other videos, even these ones we've seen, you know, they run up and then they, like the Giratina, it sets a new low, right? A higher low. Uh, but this one, it did, it was a higher low, but not by much. And so finally getting up there. I mean, I'd love to see it personally at a $200 value. I think this, I think the set's good enough. I like the set. I don't, what's wrong with Brilliant Stars? I like, anyways, um, this is not an easy card to pull, by the way, uh, but there's a ton of PSA 10s out there. Charizard's obviously very popular, um, but yeah, he's he's getting some love, finally. Uh, last solds, though. Oh, this, this must have just went through. I didn't see this. This was not on here earlier. 140, 140, but then we got some high sales. 175, 175. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see where this ends up. Okay, uh, just, it's one of my favorite cards. Like, I'm going to give it love any chance I can. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. So back to the market. Okay, so the Pokemon market, it's it's like every single day, every single day I'm logging on, I'm on TCG, I'm on eBay, uh, Pokemon Center. Things are just like, I feel like things are escalating at such a rapid, a rapid, rapid like pace that, um, I, I'll tell you one thing that I do, I do feel sorry I do really feel sorry for collectors that are just now entering the market. It, it can be really tough to navigate. Um, yeah, I things are getting crazy. I, mean, I remember <clears throat> it was a much easier time for most of us when we were getting in, unless it was COVID. COVID was COVID was like a crazy crazy time, um, and I feel like a lot of people have fallen off from the COVID times. It pushed people away, but I think with 151, uh, with with everything that's going on, I feel like there's just so many new people. Uh, entering the hobby, the market that I, I don't, I would love to know how many, like how many collectors and investors that there are, how many people are in the market. Um, because that I feel like is, it's gotta be at an all time high, right? We have to have the most ever because you know, so many older people grew up with Pokemon are coming back to it. 151. Right. Um, so the Pokemon company currently can only print so much product right? If the, if they're at max capacity, like max printing capacity, uh, you know, I don't know, they could get, uh, they could expand their facility, right? They could get more printers, hire more people. We don't really know. Um, but we don't know what they have going on, right? But if the amount of collectors continues to just grow like this, but the, the, the print capacity ends up staying the same, uh, there's just not enough to, there's not enough to meet, not enough supply to meet demand. And, uh, once start, things start getting expensive, which is what's happening now, once start, things start getting crazy, it's almost like people people just become rabid. So um, join some discords. Uh, you guys got to get notified on when stuff's coming out at MSRP. We've seen, I saw some bad Costco stuff. There was a clip going around. Uh, I think it was on TikTok of people not fighting, but like kind of fighting for those 151 tins. They were like not pushing each other over, but they were like jumping over each other to get like uh, I don't know how many were in like a little cardboard box. I think there was like ten or something. But uh, things are starting to get wild, so make sure you guys are are being safe out there. Uh, try and be smart. Try and pick up stuff at reasonable prices. Pre-order when possible. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of what we're in now. You got to pre-order. You, you gotta you gotta check your check your WalMarts, check your Targets, check your Costco's. You gotta check them more regularly. Uh, find out when they restock, right? Um, it's it's unfortunately it's getting cutthroat, and that's what's happening now. So it is what it is. It's kind of it's it's exciting in a way, but it's sad to see. It's exciting because like my surging sparks, my cases are coming, right? I, I got in, it was like a hundred bucks a box, roughly, right, for pre-orders. Um, you know. They're already at 160. I'm already up 60 bucks per box. That's wild. Before they even got to me, that was like COVID era stuff with like cards, card uh, boxes and cards. You before like they chip it out, and by the time it got to you, you'd already be up a ton. And that's kind of what's happening now. So that's wild. Um, I don't want it to go full COVID. I really don't. Uh, but I don't want to have to fight. I don't want to fight for product. But at the end of the day, if you're willing to pay just a little bit more, you're gonna get the product you want. Uh, just just don't wait too long. Um, I'm rambling. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.